welcome in this video i am going to explain sporious regression i'll keep it very brief you can read the whole blog on sporious regression the link i have shared here that is sporious regression and you will see singaporean consumption singaporean income both are non-stationary then south african income and how it's related with singaporean consumption these are meaningless results so you can you can see all data codes are available here at the moment i am just going to uh, highlight key points so if you have a series if you have yt series you have zt series both processes are stationary and et has mean zero variance constant then it's a meaningful regression granger and newbold in 1974 explained that if series is non stationary and even very high r square very significant t statistics we result into uh, something which has no economic meaning without any economic meaning such economic such regression will look very good on paper but it is spurious this has this has no uh, uh, nothing to do with actual story so if both variables case one there are four cases i am going to discuss case one when yt and zt both are stationary regression makes sense if y and x are related and theory theory x also tells us so if yt and zt any of these variables is non-stationary that is integrated of order other than zero that is one or two then such regressions are meaningful case three is that when yt and zt are integrated of the same order and residuals as a stochastic trend stochastic trend means residuals are non-stationary residuals are non-stationary then this is uh, 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 these results have basically no no meaning in this case it is a spurious relationship if both yt and zt are non-stationary are integrated of same order but their residuals are stationary that's 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 a very interesting case then e, yt and zt are said to be co-integrated and this is this is this has a, a lot of economic sense we'll explain it in co-integration concept here i am going to simulate data and uh, first of all i have uh, uploaded some libraries okay then i have generated 200 values random seed so if you will use the same random seed your results will match with mine uh, so, uh, you, we have x series and we have basically ignored first 49 observations you may say or i should have started actually from 51 first 50 observations so so to overcome initial value effect so we have no x series and y series when we see both series seems non-stationary both series seems non-stationary how uh, uh, why when we regress y on x what's the case when we regress y on x we have high t statistics value we have very high t statistics value and we have uh, this is this is very significant value p value is very small and you can see that r statistics is also r uh, square is also very high r square is also very high 0.70 so results seems uh, you, you see t statistics and r square indicate that it may be a good fit but when we see the residuals residuals show autocorrelation these residuals are clearly showing pattern when we see these residuals are not random so these residuals are not random uh, random residuals are like this that positive negative positive without any pattern without any pattern so you can plot stationary series or you can see my previous videos where i have explained stationary series or non autocorrelated series so so it means these residuals indicate that despite high r square y and x has no uh, uh, no uh, uh, has spurious relationship and if you uh, have some residual panel this also indicates that residuals are not well behaved and even on tails these these this indicates non-normal distribution and these residuals are clearly indicating there is strong 
high high auto correlation among these residuals so spurious regression is when y and x show some relationship but your residuals indicate that they they don't they don't uh, satisfy standard properties you may call a regression spurious uh, for uh, for more details for uh, step each and every word if you want to uh, uh, do it and with some more uh, you can say deep sense of econometrics so please don't forget to read this post on spurious regression by me thank you for watching take care